On your whiteboard, please tell me who's the guy who comes up with the forgetting curve. I'm not even asking you hard stuff, people. I'm literally covering what I covered yesterday. Who is it, McKinnon? Ebbinghaus. On your whiteboard, food, sex, water, or what? Mia. Primary reinforcers. On your whiteboard, please tell me who's the guy behind multiple intelligences. Who are they? Lauren. Gardner. On your whiteboard, please tell me. The more I study, the better I do. What is this an example of? The more I study, the better my test scores are. You got one. No. Two. Not the perfect answer for John, but I'll take it. No. Same thing. What is it, Zach? Positive correlation. Positive correlation. You're not wrong, John, but do you see the difference between his answer and yours? <laughs> On your whiteboard, please tell me the more junk food I eat, the less energy I have. Trey. Negative correlation. Negative correlation. On your whiteboard, please tell me. What is, uh, in John B. Watson's famous experiment, experiment, we learn that what occurs with fears? What is it, Ripkey? Generalization. Generalization. On your whiteboard, please tell me, what is it called when we fear things because we should fear them, like heights? Like spiders, something that gives us, uh, threatens us, naturally scares us. If you don't know, look. I covered this yesterday. And if you weren't here yesterday and you didn't take notes on it, I don't know what to do for you because that pisses me off, too. Because why the hell am I working so damn hard? Jenny, on your whiteboard, please tell me, what is it called when I tilt my eyes in in order to look at something that's close to my face? Sam, on your right, convergence requires wh how many eyes? Karina, two. two. On your whiteboard, what three colors do trichromatic? Uh, what three colors in the trichromatic theory? What are they, Hannah? Red, blue. Red, blue, and green. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is the name of the gentleman who is uh, doing the Bobo doll experiment? Who is it, Jude? Pandora. Come raise your hand and tell me where we left off. Zach. When a person is praised for doing that, is that where we left off? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Take out your uh, review packet. Just a friendly reminder that... You are responsible for turning in this sheet. It's worth 100 points. They're easy points. Don't mess it up. It is due the day of your midterm, which is on Wednesday the 20th, a week from tomorrow. It is due that day. It's worth 100 points. If you do not turn it in, it will be a zero, and it will stay a zero. Your black and gold cards will not affect your review packets. If you don't have your review packet on the 20th at the beginning of class when I collect them, it's a zero. Is everyone clear on that? If you do not write down everything I write down, I will be taking off significant amounts of points because you're writing this packet once. I'm doing it four times. Do you think I will have patience and kindness for your laziness? No? No. Good. Nor do I. Positive reinforcement. When a person is praised for doing the right thing. If a person does something.
correctly, give them praise, they will likely do it again. Underneath that, you're going to write negative reinforcement. Harassing someone. Until they do it. Clean room. Cleans room. So mom stops yelling. EEG. EEG, because we're going to write two in here. EEG measures brain waves. In a little bracket, you're going to just draw little brain waves. Underneath it, you're going to write PET scan. PET measures brain activity. Using glucose to track where activity is happening. MRI using a magnetic field to create a 3D image. Of the brain, it provides the most detail. Pinna. So, Pinna, we're going to write out how uh, the setup of the AE ear, how transduction occurs. So that's what we're going to write. How transduction in the ear occurs. So, it goes Pinna, auditory canal. Tympanic membrane, oscillates, oval window, cochlea, basilar membrane. Auditory nerve, and temporal lobe. Semicircular canals, equals balance. Behavior modification, punishment, delivered immediately, after the behavior, is the most effective. And eliminating behaviors. Learned helplessness occurs when only negative. Reinforcement occurs.
condition response, when a condition stimulus stimulus occurs with reinforcement, it will happen again. If a condition stimulus is repeatedly presented without unconditioned stimulus, parentheses food, extinction will occur. Okay, who can tell me what reliable is? Sam. It's not an experiment. What's reliable, Jude? It's like when it tests what it's supposed to test. Yep. Reliable refers to testing. If a test is reliable, the same person will earn similar scores. On retakes. What are some examples of reliable tests? Yep, SAT. What else? MCAT. Is that the law exam? ACT, GRE, all of those standard. Most of your ninety percent of your standardized tests would be. Um, we have some issues with the Florida state test, but that's fine. Uh, Short-term memory capacity. He's got it. With a hand, Lauren. What's the capacity? Hold on. No. What is it, Jenny? No. What's the capacity, which means as much as it can hold? Coker. There you go. Plus or minus uh, seven plus or minus three. These items are held in your working memory. Normal. You have normal memories, you can hold seven items. If you have bad memory, if you have poor memory, you can hold five items. If you have good memory, you can hold ten items. Naturalistic observation, what is it? John. Hold on. Uh, you need a little more information before I'll give it to you. Mm, sort of. What am I looking for? Ripkey? Um, it's basically watching like, an animal like, person do something, but they don't, like, it's what they normally do, but they don't know, like, you're not interfering. No, you literally just said what John just said. No. Like the, I already talked to you, Jude. Oh. What is naturalistic observation? Jenny? Hidden observer? No, that's a fact. I'm waiting. Lauren? It's when they don't know. Nope. What is it, McKinnon? Isn't it not occurring in the lab? So it's like, it's like controlled the lab, like naturalistic, yeah, the found it. There you go. So what's the key word, naturalistic observation? No, yeah, I don't have to be in woods. No. Hi, think about it. Naturalistic observation. Nature. Who can raise their hand and tell me? Because right now we're stuck here, and that's not good, because you guys are falling behind already. Lauren. Natural habitat of the person. So if I'm looking at high school students and seeing their behavior, 
Should I take them into the woods to see their natural behavior? That's what you tried telling me that it has to be out in nature. Okay, so what am I looking for when we talk about naturalistic observation? If I need a hand, I don't want to be shouted at. No one knows. Cool. So when we figure it out, we'll move forward. What do you got? Your natural environment with no one interfering, correct? Isn't that the key term? If I put you in a white room and said, act naturally, would you act naturally? No, you wouldn't. So, okay. When a person slash researcher watches people slash animals, in their natural habitats and records what they see without interfering. Example, who's the perfect one? Jane Goodall, even though eventually she does start interacting. Jane Goodall. Okay, watches monkeys. In the rainforest. Okay, double blind study. You can raise your hand, tell me. Karina. It's uh, where the actual researcher and the Yes, you're correct, but what are the key terms you need to have in order to do it? What are the key terms she's missing? Hannah? The researcher doesn't know as well as the person being Okay, but what's the key terms? Karina just said that. The control group versus the? Experimental group. So double blind. Researchers. Don't know. Who received the experimental drug? Or who received the placebo? Both researcher and participant. Don't know who is in control group versus experimental group. This reduces experimenter bias in their observations and behaviors with patience. Late in learning. What is late in learning? Rip key. Uh, learning without reinforcement. Who's the big person behind it? Who can tell me with a hand learning without reinforcement? Who's the big person behind it with a hand? I already spoke to you, Rip King. I'll sit back and wait. I have no problem. I've been writing all morning, so I'm good. What is the name of the dude who is behind it? Sam, I already spoke to you. Jenny, I already spoke to. You better start looking. Because whatever I don't finish, it is entirely your responsibility. I already talked to you, Gabrielle. Anna. Tolman. Later learning is done without learning without reinforcement. Tolman's rat maze.
Rob Maze is the experiment. The mice learn the maze. without food, but did it faster with food. Learning can occur. Without reinforcement, but faster with it. What is instinctive drift? I already talked to you, Hannah. I already talked to you, Ripke. I know. Cool. Maybe you get your peers to work a little bit uh, faster here. You better put that phone away right now, Zach. If I see you texting again, I'm going to lose my mind. Do you hear me? Yeah? Cool. Instinctive drift. What is it? What do you got, Mia? A conditioned response that moves towards the natural behavior of the organism. What does that mean? I just found it. Guys, what does instinctive drift mean? Sam? Okay. All right, instinctive drift is dealing with operant conditioning. When learner gains some control Uh, operant conditioning when a learner gains some control over some biological responses. Parentheses, biofeedback, example, breathing. When stressed, to decrease blood pressure. That seems to have drift, we're gonna write biofeedback over it. Okay, we're gonna write in retrieval in this box right here. You can raise your hand and tell me what is retrieval. What is retrieval? I've already spoken to the U3. Hannah, I've already spoken to you. What is retrieval? I already talked to Jude. Coker. There you go. The act of getting things out of long term memory and into working memory. On your whiteboard, here we go. What is the fancy term for an eardrum? No. I got one. No. I have one. Two. Two. I have two. No. Three. Hannah, what is it? Tympanic membrane. What lines the inside of the cochlea? Oh my god, guys. 
Some of this information, when you hear it again, should come back, and you should be able to pull it together. I got one. Two. No. Three. Olivia, what is it? On your whiteboard, please tell me what is, uh, what deals with balance? Let's try that one. That should be an easy one. Now one, two, three, Trey. Semicircular canals. On your whiteboard, how many items can you hold in your working memory? How many, Lauren? On your whiteboard, what is it called? When one of your eyes sees the image slightly to the left, your right eye sees everything slightly to the right, and it's the balance between them. What is it, Karina? Disparity. If I wanted to see the clearest, best image of my brain, what would I use? Mia. If I wanted to see what part of my brain lights up when I see McCray and his cute little face, what would I use? We have a lot of wrong answers on this. What is it, Jacqueline? PET scan. PET scans use what to track where brain activity is occurring? What is it? McKinnon, on your whiteboard, please tell me who is a perfect example of naturalistic observations? Rip K. On your whiteboard, please show me what EEG scan looks like. What did you just draw, Gabriella? Brain waves. On your whiteboard, what is it called when I'm thinking back? I'm like, oh my God. I remember on my fifth birthday when I got my first American Girl doll. Oh wow, haven't thought of that in forever. No. Jenny. What is it, Hannah? Retrieval. Why is it retrieval? Because On your whiteboard, please tell me. What type of research cannot be replicated at all? What type of research cannot be replicated at all? Jude. Yes, On your whiteboard, please tell me. What theory proves the trichromatic theory is pretty close to right? Oh. What is it, Trey? Opponent. Here we go. Flip it over. Let's go. Okay, I think it makes a lot of sense why I don't feel like doing standard deviation right now. Validity. Well, who can raise your hand and tell me what validity is? I'm waiting. Someone I haven't spoken to. Hannah, I've spoken to you. Lauren Ripke, I've spoken to you. What is validity? If you don't know, you better be looking for it. I haven't really spoken to Jacqueline, Gay, uh, Gabriella. Haven't talked to Olivia, Trey, Alex. I've heard nothing. Zach, you haven't given me anything either. So I will wait. So you're just gonna sit there and do nothing. That's I'm what you're gonna do. Saying, what is it? It's like if someone replicates it. It's no, like wrong. I already heard from you. Show up prepared. Mia. Which one the test measures where it's like supposed to There you to go. Be. It's describes the degree. To which the test actually measures what it's supposed to it's supposed to test if I want
to ask about ice cream. I don't ask about whales. Restless leg, uh, we're going to cross off restless leg syndrome. You're going to write hypothesis. What is a hypothesis? I have a couple people I haven't spoken to yet. What is a hypothesis? No, not an idea. It's not an idea. Week two, number two. Who's speaking to me? Jacqueline or Gabriella? What is a hypothesis, people? Huh? A prediction, yes. Hypothesis. A specific prediction that will then be tested by an experiment. Okay, I'm skipping to correlational coefficients. So, when we're dealing with correlational coefficients, there's three choices. What are the three choices? Karina. Okay. Okay, it's, you can be positive, negative, or no correlation. So when you have positive, all of your data is going up, and the perfect correlation is positive one. Okay, then when you have negative, all of your data is going down. A perfect negative correlation is negative 1. A no correlation is 0, which looks like that. And that's 0. The strongest relationships... are the ones closest to negative one to positive one. Inferential statistics we'll come back to. Okay, we're going to cross off structure of a neuron because we're going to come back to that. Uh, we have another one for that. We're going to write a nervous system. For which one? A neuron structure. So the nervous system, write it where I write it because there's a lot going in here. It breaks into two immediately. You can raise your hand and tell me what it breaks into immediately. I need uh, Trey or Jacqueline or Zach. Central nervous system. Central nervous system. And what is in the central nervous system? Zach, what's in it? Brain, <coughs> spinal cord. Okay, then it breaks into what, Jacqueline? Peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system breaks into two branches. What are what's one of them, Trey? Jack and I'm out. No. Gabriella? Autonomic. Okay. And what? There you go. Autonomic. Somatic. What is somatic doing? Who can raise their hand? Uh, Trey, what is somatic? So it's voluntary movement. Okay, it's all your voluntary movements. What is autonomic doing? What's autonomic doing, Trey? All of your involuntary things. 
Now your autonomic breaks into two things. This is open to Alex and Alex only. I haven't spoken to you. Autonomic breaks into two systems. What is it? No. We'll figure it out. You're the last one I haven't heard from. Breaks into two. Week four. Week four. Middle. Zach, parasympathetic. And this is open uh, to Alex. Parasympathetic does what? Um, causes bodily changes for maintenance. Does it excite the body or calm it down? Calms down the body. And then sympathetic is fight or flight. There you go. And this is fight or flight. Parentheses excites. There you go. What is the corpus callosum? Who can raise your hand and tell me what is corpus callosum? Is it open to anyone? Jenny? A bundle of nerves that connect the left and right hemisphere. of the brain. If cut, you have, who can raise your hand and tell me what? What happens if it's cut? Lauren? It's like that guy in the video where he like could draw what he was seeing, like the word, but he couldn't say it. Cool, what, what is it? What is it? What is it called when you cut it? What's it called? Split brain. Your, what side of your brain can't speak? Your right side of the brain. Cannot communicate. How? Verbally. Broca's area. This is open to anyone. Broca's area is what, Karina? It's language-based. Language-based. Okay. Controls muscle movement. that are involved in speech. Broken jaw equals Broca's area. That's how we remember it, right? And it's in the left hemisphere and it's in the front lo frontal lobe. Why do we know it's in the frontal lobe? Who can raise your hand and tell me why do we know it's in the frontal lo lobe? Rip key. That changes personality. No, he could still speak. Jude. There you go. Perfect. Because we are well developed. So, Broca's area is in the left hemisphere. Or Nikki's area. What is it? Is it open to anyone? I already talked to Rip key. Gabriella. Language comprehension. Language comprehension. Okay, it's in the left side. Why is it on the left side? You can raise your hand and tell me why. How do we remember? I already talked to two of you. Zach. Language means it's on the left. What three things are on the left side, Sam? 
There you go. All the all things go on the left side. So it's on the left side. What lobe is it in? You can raise your hand. McKinnon. Temporal lobe. Why do we why is it in your temporal lobe, McKinnon? There you go. Language comprehension, left temporal lobe. Processes all verbal communication. Okay, so we're going to cross off peripheral. We're going to write neuron firing. Yes, I'm writing it on the side. So we're going to draw a neuron over here, right small, because we're going to use a whole box. Goodbye. Yeah. So, like, what's the main difference between the lady and the